Welcome back. This is video number three in the Managing Expectations series. I'm glad you've come with me on this journey. So today what we're going to be talking about is dirty words. Dirty, dirty words. But until we get there, I just want to recap on our first couple of videos. So in the first video, we talked about where managing, sorry, where expectations come from and how we actually manage them. Where they come from? Values. I gave you a homework task to do as well, so I hope you did that. That was your deal breakers because that'll help you start understanding where your values come from. We then moved into the second video which talked about thinking styles. So our values and our thinking styles really help us to understand where those, val where those expectations actually come from and how they translate into the world. So now what I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about is actually taking the values and the thinking styles and now it's translation into behavior. And one of the behavior traits that we have is, is, is in our language and verbal behavior. There are two words that we use in the human language that we hear all the time. You probably use them all the time and I want you to eradicate them from your vocabulary. They have no place in the vocabulary of a great and inspiring leader because they set you up for failure every single time. So you need to get rid of these words. Okay, so what are those words I hear you saying? What are those words, Michelle? Tell me, tell me so I can get rid of them out of my vocabulary. All right, so the first word is... Should. And I'm going to give you the second word because they work hand in hand to destroy your career. Assume. Should and assume are the two dirtiest words in our vocabulary. You need to eradicate them from your language and from the expectations you put on others. This is how it works. You'll say stuff like, they should do their job. They should know how to do that. They should know that there's a procedure about that. They should know that talking to that person will upset them. They should, they should, they should, they should. What you're actually doing is assuming you're assuming that they know these things because you think they should. You can't assume. We all know what assume does. We've heard that before, haven't we? We know that, that term. We can't assume. What we're actually doing though, there's, there's, a, there's a real fundamental human instinctual thing that's happening here. We fill in the blanks when we don't know stuff. That's just what humans do. It's not lying, it's not manipulation, it's not any of those things. It literally is that we fill in the blanks when we don't know. So instead of saying, I don't know if they know how to do their job, I don't know if they know that procedure, we add should to fill in the blanks. We assume that they do. Instead, you know what would be a better idea? Ask them. Just ask them if they do. Because then you've got a basis on which to work. If you're just assuming, you've got no basis to do anything other than either look like a twit because you've got it wrong or look like a really mean, bad manager because you haven't taught them the right way of doing it. So here's the thing, should and assume, they will kill your leadership career. They just will. If you continue to use these, you won't be an inspiring leader. You won't be seen as a visionary. You won't be seen as a person that they can go to, that they can trust. And you want to be that. I know you do because you're here listening to this video. You want to be on a kick-ass leadership journey. You want to have a great career. These are two words you need to get rid of. 
And we talk a lot about language and the usage of language, and particularly in our confidence course, which is module two out of the Kick-Ass Performance. And the reason we talk about language and the use of language is because if you understand language, you can get the confidence of being able to use that skill. The confidence in communication is so important to be an inspiring leader. It's important to be an inspiring peer. It doesn't matter if you're managing people or you're not managing people. You want to be inspiring to everyone that you're, that you're working with. You want to be credible. And these are ways that you can do it. So should and assume, get rid of those straight away out of your language and instead ask the question, do they know what to do? Do they know that there's a procedure there? Do they know if they spoke to that person it would upset them? Do they? Ask the question. Don't assume. If you ask the question, you've got somewhere to work from. But until then, you're just assuming. So thank you very much. This has been video number three out of six. Next time, we're going to talk a little bit more about practical ways for you to manage your own expectations and also a little bit about how you can manage the expectations around you as well. And we're going to get a really, really practical, practical tool that I'm going to give you to use. So thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, be inspiring.